know what time it is. Not gambling time. Don't. That's not it. Has everyone been keeping tabs on the universal epic universe? I'm just going to call it epic universal. That's just too much. You got too many universes in one title. Has everyone been keeping tabs on the epic universal? Because that place looks, dare I say, cool. You thought I was going to say epic, but I, I said cool. What is this? I keep seeing this creature everywhere. What is this? All right, for those who don't know, Epic Universal is gonna be a third uh, Universal Park, okay? And they're gonna have three portals to, no wait, they're gonna have, so one, two, I think they're gonna have like four portals to different uh, franchises. Whoa, that door almost squished me. Why is every mall food court look like just a bland, uh, I, everything looks so sterile with gray and brown and just nothing going on. This place used to have like a little mini train that would go all the way around the food court. And now we have just stupid bulbs. Wood with string everywhere. I feel like you just see this everywhere now. Every McDonald's, Chipotle, Taco Bell, every food court just looks like this now, bland. All right, Epic Universal is gonna have, it's gonna have a Super Mario Land, uh, a How to Train Your Dragon Land, a, How, um, a uh, Universal Tom Cruise Dark Universe Land, and then finally, a Ministry of Magic Harry Potter land. And it definitely has some cool theming to it. It's got kind of that Disneyland type of entrance where you got a hub and then it splinters off into various lands. Even like the main hub area looks pretty cool. Like, I just want to go and chill there. I don't even really need to ride anything. I just want to walk around and look at things. Where is the Nike store? It's gotta be around here somewhere. Wait, are they even open yet? I don't think anything in the mall is actually open yet. I think they open at 11. Maybe? I mean, there's people in this Lego store. So they just released some, I guess, pictures and video of the How to Train Your Dragon Land. And uh, look, there's some Viking Village stuff that's topical for what I'm talking about. And some of the art directors, they were the ones who really instilled in us the vision of this world of Burke. With all of our rides, each of our four major attractions are themed after the kids. And Hiccup being the inventor that he is, has developed a way for us to simulate what it's like to fly on a dragon and Toothless is not very happy, to say the least. He launches our gliders before wings are attached. So rather than a smooth flight through Burke, we're careening wildly, skimming across the top of the lagoon. It's really an adventure. The Untrainable Dragon is a live show experience that really brings home the DreamWorks mantra of heart and humor. The show features incredible costuming and sets and advanced technology that help bring these amazing dragons to life. There you go, Harry Potter stuff for the Harry Potter Ministry of Magic. That's where all the, I guess, the magic narcs work out of. New Snow White and Seven Dwarves. Look, she's in like a little glass case. So how to, how to Train a Dragon. I don't know much about that movie. I think I've seen the first one. I remember one of the dragons doesn't have teeth, maybe? Toothless? And then he's he gets a robot wing at the end of the movie, I think, right? And what else happens? I think they, like, 
hey, we got to come together and ride other dragons because our one village doesn't like dragons. But then they learn, like, hey, they're okay. And then they fight a bigger dragon. And I'm assuming most of the other movies kind of follow that trend, like, hey, we can't trust dragons, or maybe we can trust dragons and learn to live together. Oh, there's the Nike store. You can just win Starbucks cups in here. Like, oh, this is broken too, actually, a little bit. Uh oh. Just put that right back. I think in the How to Train Your Dragon Land, now they have drones, which looks awesome. I think. They got dragons you can meet. You can meet Toothless, which looks, I mean, he looks pretty cool. This guy looks pretty cool too. Look at that. Let me say the video and stuff that I'm seeing of How to Train Your Dragon, I'm not even the biggest fan of that franchise, but holy crap, that looks awesome. You walk on in, there's all types of like water and Vikings and dragons and rides and stuff and i think even one of the rides is like a um similar to i gotta check the footage on this checking footage to confirm i'm pretty sure i saw a similar type of ride at the lego land where you squirt you squirt some ships with water and you're on a you're on a boat right this is, this is the land that I am so unbelievably jazzed for, okay? Once again, not even the biggest Nintendo fan. I've only become a Nintendo fan as of recently. Really, I played Super Smash Brothers with my friends all the time in college. So much so that I even made a documentary about my friends who were pro uh, professional video game players that played Smash. But I am so unbelievably hyped for Super Mario Land. I know you get like a little magic band where you can be a Mario character and then interact with the land. I don't, I'm definitely 100, 1000% getting a Mario magic band. I don't know who I'm gonna be. If I'm gonna be the Mario, Luigi, or Yoshi. I mean, my favorite character, to, one of my favorite characters to play in Smash Brothers is Bowser, so. If they have a Bowser Magic Band, I may have to go with that one. Or maybe a Toad, you know, kind of keep it a little bit on the neutral side. I've mentioned this before. I actually remember where I've seen almost every movie in theaters, in which theater I've seen it at. It's a crazy skill that I have. You can leave a comment below on a movie and I'll tell you where I saw it, if I saw it in movie theaters, or if I saw it like at home. But I saw the Royal Tenenbaums and the Life Aquatic at this movie theater. Because I'm a big Wes Anderson fan. I have been since, like, maybe a sophomore in high school. And in fact, when I saw his first movie, Bottle Rocket, uh, that kind of inspired me a little bit to be a filmmaker. Like, I, I saw that and I was like, I think I could... I make a movie like this. I cannot wait to see this movie. I'm trying to see it on one of the biggest screens possible. I'm gonna dune it so unbelievably hard, guys. I don't wanna see this. I like Bill Murray, but I can't, I can't support this. I love a movie theater with a theme to it. Saw this at the Charles in Baltimore, one of my favorite films, 2023. I haven't seen this yet, but I'm kind of intrigued by it. Revenge gets ripped. All right, I'm down. Don't climb on the statue or the base. Now, they haven't mentioned much about the Tom Cruise Dark Universe land, right? classic universal monsters like Frankenstein, Dracula, the mummy, right? Because Tom Cruise was the mummy 
in that one movie. I remember the trailer where they forgot to put in like the music and the score and, and sound effects and it was just the track of Tom Cruise and the actress uh, in the, the plane. It was just them like, you could just hear their sounds. It was very strange. Somehow that accidentally got released in the theaters. Oh, rabbits. I sure hope a lot of people don't buy rabbits for Easter, because people do, and then they realize that rabbits are actually a lot of work, and then they just kind of release them out into the neighborhood, like we've had that issue before. Watching, don't just buy a rabbit for Easter. like look into it and know what you get yourself into before you do it. What is this? Is this Harry Potter? Yeah, so we get a Harry Potter uh, Ministry of Magic place. My wife is super hyped for that. I don't know anything about it. Like God tier right here. Do they have a Pokemon like theme park yet? Is that going to be at Universal? I mean, it has to at some point, right? That's got to be like one of the phases down the road. Oh, this is cool. This is uh, Spider-Man's clone, Ben Riley, who came back to life after he'd been recloned again by the Jackal. He accidentally got his memory wiped and now he, he became a bad guy. Marvel's chasm. He lost all of his like Peter Parker instincts and memory. So he didn't understand that with great power comes great responsibility. Sad. It's a cool toy though, how much is it? $30? What are we doing, everybody? That's too much money. Huh? Bishop, how much money are you? You're also $30. What are we doing? That's too much money. Are they gonna try to replace like uh, the, um, what are these guys, Funkos? The Funko Pops? Are they trying to be rival Funko Pops? I don't like it. Ooh. So. I don't know. Two is a lot of veins in this character. How much is the Rose? No, the Rose is Wilson Fisk's uh, son, who also becomes crime person. Also $30. There's no way anyone would ever pay $30 for the rose, okay? I like the rose as much as the next guy, but that's too much money. I haven't watched the show, but I read the comics and I loved it. One of my favorite comics of all time. Oh, there he is. There he is. Look at this little guy. <laughs> yes. Oh my goodness. Look at this ET. How much is a CT? Okay, it's $40. I'm not doing that. I'm not buying it. No, I do like this little guy though. Look at him. <laughs> E.T. in the field, the cornfield, scared the crap out of me as a kid. Okay, I'm okay admitting that. I know there's a bunch of people out there and be like, oh, it didn't scare me as a kid. It did, don't, don't try to lie. Don't lie to me and don't lie to yourself gotta stop worshipping these serial killers. My god. <laughs> what is this little guy? <laughs> Swear to god. I love this game as a kid. There he is. My friend, Cody. Will he win the big one at WrestleMania? Uh, yeah, he, he, he better. Oh my God, what in the world is this? What are these? What in the world? 
what is this? Whoa. It's so bright in here. this <laughs> this little guy this is very uh, uh, too cute for me what I don't even know where to begin. First off, deceptively heavy. And second off, he looks like he's maybe uh, passing a bowel movement. Oh, this is graphic. Oh, what the heck are these? Uh, I gotta get out of here. Uh, I'm freaking out. <sighs> Insane. Um, here we go. Let's do it. Oh, look at this art. Mm. Beautiful. The decor. What if I just bought this and just stuck it in my living room? Or this? I can put this right on my coffee table in my living room. Just, you know, thought provoking. Art. Look at this cool giraffe. That's what I'm talking about. Look at him. Do they have a Waluigi and a Wario uh, magic band? They have to, right? Looking for Disney theme park. Weird but cute. There he is. They really like coffee mugs and coffee just in general. It's only five dollars. That's going to be a tempting one. Last time I was here, I found some Mickey ears. I'm seeing so much Mario stuff, or maybe I'm just really noticing it because of Epic Universal. Racist? Well, I'm really rusty when it comes to finding stuff at the Burlington, the BFC. The BFC. Uh, I don't even remember where to really look. Let's see, maybe I can find uh, one of those Disney World sweater things. Jersey sweaters, Jersey, what, what are they? You know, you know the one. You know the one I'm talking about. Oh, feeling a bit overwhelmed. Blood sugar starting to crash. Not seeing any cool Disney sweaters here in the BFC today. What is this? What am I looking at? He died for you. He died for your sins. And he has returned in Christmas form. Blessings from Shrek Lord above. Merry Shrekmas. Hallelujah. He has risen. Like, not having any luck with the Burlington as of late. I'm trying to remember where I found the ears before. I thought they were like over there, but not seeing any trace of them. Or even like little kid hats? Would it be in the little kid hat section? A minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, okay. All right, no, they're just headbands. Huh? Huh? What are these? What am I looking at? Here you go. Uh, yeah. Here we go. Women's hats. Mini ears have to be around here somewhere. That's Minnie Mouse. No. 
I don't know who this is. Who is this? Who's this supposed to? Be? That's Michael Jordan. I know that one. Who's that supposed to be? Not having much luck with this at Burlington Adventure. I gotta find something. Find me one thing. Come on, one Disney Park thing. Burlington, you let me down, did I? All right, let's get an Orange Julius. Love Orange Julius. I try to get it every time I come to this mall. Just a little treat, a little treat that I like to give myself. Wait a second. They removed the Orange Julius? What, what is this? It's gone. Oh. I guess it's broken. I broke it. I broke the map. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Disrespectful. I don't even know what to say about that store. So classy. Why? Look at this. Can't get this at Disney World or Universal or Epic Universal. Well, maybe I don't know about Epic Universal. We don't know if that that's even open yet. Crushed it. No prisoners. Well, Orange Julius is closed, so what's the point of even coming to this mall anymore? True TV and Practical Jokers are coming here. I don't know who they are, but they look like a bunch of clowns. They're not the good type of clowns. I was talking to some lady on the elevator and she said she lost a thousand dollars at the casino. That's why I don't gamble. Here we go, all booked up for the day. All the charging spots are taken. Always gotta get to a charger early. Half the fun of that mall was the Orange Julius slash Dairy Queen combo. I remember one time on Saturday Night Live, uh, Sylvester Stallone was hosting and they did a skit uh, where his character worked at an Orange Julius. And he was really upset that the Orange Julius was, I guess, closing. Well, perverts, we did it. We got out of the mall without spending more money. And in fact, I returned something, so I got the money back. But let me tell you, there was a Levi's jacket in there, a gray one that I really wanted. Because this is a Levi's jacket, but it's more of a winter kind of coat. And I need like a lighter weather Levi's coat. And I am struggling, struggling to not turn around and go buy it right now. I can't spend money on more jackets. I do love coats though. I love jackets. It's a good color too. Oh, it's like a, it's like a gray stony kind of color. Mmm. I love jean jackets too. No, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't do it. I can't buy, I, I, I don't need it. I want it, but I don't need it. I've been reading this memoir on Paul Newman and I really just, oh man, I want cool style like him. And I feel like he would have a jean jacket like that. Nah, I don't know. 
don't do it don't do it kenny don't do it don't do it can't do it can't turn around now we've gone too far mm, man i'm gonna think about that jacket for a while